morning, everybody. I'm Pastor Gil Zaragoza, and welcome to Bible Concepts with Pastor Gil Zaragoza, where Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, and unto Him be the honor and the glory forever and ever. And all of God's people shout a good hearty amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Well, we have a very powerful telecast to give you, or to minister, rather, to minister. And yeah, we're going to give you the best that we have concerning the Word of God, concerning the topic, what faith is. This is part of a grand series, if you will, Faith Fundamentals. We already talked about how faith comes. Now we're talking about what faith is. So let's believe God together for a very powerful telecast this, this morning in the name of the Lord. I sense that the Holy Ghost is going to speak to all of us. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. And so let's just give this time to the Lord and let's just believe God for a very powerful time in His Word and in His presence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray, let's believe God together in Jesus' name. Father in heaven, we praise you, we honor you, we adore you, Father, this morning. Father, we declare your glory in this place today. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. You are welcome. We welcome you with all of our hearts. We say, come, come, come and anoint all of your people right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Touch each life that is watching right now in Jesus' name. Touch them with your presence, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your precious, holy anointing. And we give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory. We reverence you with all of our hearts, Father. We reverence you. We reverence you. We honor you. We glorify you. Thank you, Father, for being here with us. And minister to every person, Father. Every need is met right now in Jesus' name. Healing is in this place. Be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be filled with all of the Spirit of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, because you are already working right now amongst the television congregation right now in Jesus' mighty name, Father. And we give you praise and honor and glory for it, Father. Now for this remaining time, Father, we, Lord, submit ourselves to you. We are yours to command. Anoint us with power from on high so that we will be able to deliver, Father, the word that you have for everyone here this morning, Father. And I pray for the congregation this morning, Father. Give them open ears to hear your word and a receptive heart to receive your word. And we'll be careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for everything that is going to be accomplished here this morning, Father, in the name that is above every name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to whom honor and glory be forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, and all of God's people shout a good hearty, amen and amen and amen. Praise God Almighty. Amen. Well, we're talking about what faith is. Amen. And uh, let's go to our scriptures. Amen. For the honor and glory of the Lord. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. In the King James, it reads as follows for the honor and glory of the Lord. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 in the King James Version. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Notice the scripture one more time. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. In the Amplified Classic Bible, it reads as follows for the honor and glory of the Lord. Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Another translation says, Now faith means that we are confident of what we've hoped for, convinced of what we do not see. Still, another translation says, Faith is giving substance to things hoped for. Amen. 
In other words, your faith gives substance to the promises of God that you've hoped for when you believe that you received your petition before you have it. Now, Jesus said in Mark's Gospel, chapter 11, let's go there, Mark chapter 11, starting with verse 24, Jesus made the following declaration. I'm going to read this in the King James Version and in the Amplified Classic Version. It reads as follows, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. Notice what Jesus said right here, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray. In other words, when ye pray, Notice the next sentence, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. One more time, uh, Mark eleven twenty four 24 in the King James Version. Therefore, I say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them. Now, in the Amplified Classic Bible, it reads as follows. Jesus said right here in the Amplified Classic translation, it says this, For this reason I am telling you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, Trust and be confident that it is granted to you and you will get it. Amen. Now, we have been working on two definitions on what faith is, and we're going to give you the, the definitions right now as we speak. The first definition is this. Faith is believing, trusting, and being confident of the promises of God already granted to us. Notice that statement on the screen. Write it down. Faith is believing, trusting, and being confident of the promises of God already granted to us. Notice that definition again. Faith is believing, trusting, and being confident of the promises of God already, already, already granted to us. I'm going to say that one more time. I'm going, to do, I'm, going to re, I'm going to say the statement one more time. Faith is believing, trusting, and being confident of the promises of God already granted to us. Amen. Again, Mark chapter 11, verse 24 in the Amplified Classic Bible, Jesus declared the following, For this reason I am telling you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe, trust, and be confident that it is granted to you and you will get it. Now, the King James Version of Mark eleven twenty four 24 says it this way. Therefore, this is what Jesus said in, in the King James Version of Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. In other words, we can say it this way. We can, we can uh, uh, well, let's go ahead. Let's, let's come back to, uh, let, let's kind of go back to uh, Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, because I want to give you the second definition based on Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. In the King James Version, it says it this way. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, in the Amplified Classic Bible, it says it this way, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Now, another translation says it this way, Now faith means that we are confident of what we've hoped for, convinced of what we do not see. Another translation says, faith is giving substance to things hoped for. In other words, here's the second definition. The second definition is this, faith is taking hold of the unseen realm of hope and bringing it into the realm of reality. I'm gonna say that again. Faith is taking hold of the unseen realm of hope and bringing it into the realm of reality. I want to say that again. Faith is taking hold 
of the unseen realm of hope and bringing it into the realm of reality. I'm going to say that one more time. Faith is taking hold of the unseen realm of hope and bringing it into the realm of reality. Amen. Now, faith grows out of the Word of God. Amen. It's a very important principle that you need to know. That you need to know. Faith grows out of the Word of God. The Apostle Paul wrote something very powerful in Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Writing to the church in Rome uh, under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, Paul wrote the following for the honor and glory of the Lord. He wrote the following to the church in Rome under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. I'll read the scripture again. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. One more time, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Amen. Now, we said to you in our last telecast that every promise recorded in God's Word is already bought and paid for by the Lord Jesus Christ. And, it be, and, and these promises, these promises recorded in the Word of God belong to us right now. Every promise recorded in the Word of God belongs to us right now. Now, if you were asked, well, how does it belong to us, Pastor Joe? Well, it belongs to us. Amen. In fact, every promise belonged to us ever since Jesus gave his life. Every promise recorded in the Word of God is already bought and paid for by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Amen. It's already bought and paid for. Every promise of God that is recorded in His Word belongs to us right now. All we need to do is to believe, receive, and appropriate the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All we need to do is believe and receive. Remember what Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. Uh, now, let me read to you Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5. I'm going to read them in the King James Version and in the Amplified Classic Bible. Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5. Every promise belongs to us now. Amen. Every promise recorded in the Word of God is already bought and paid for by the Lord Jesus Christ and belongs to us right now, this very moment. It's up to us to believe, receive, and appropriate the promises of God right now. Remember Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, now faith is. And remember how we said to you, if it's not now, it is not faith. Again, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5. I'm going to read this in the uh, King James and in the Amplified. It reads as follows for the honor and glory of the Lord. Surely He hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem Him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. In the Amplified Classic Bible, it reads as follows for the honor and glory of the Lord. Verses 4 and 5 of Isaiah chapter 53 in the Amplified Classic Bible, it reads as follows. Surely he has borne our griefs, sicknesses, weaknesses, and distresses and carried our sorrows and pains of punishment, yet we ignorantly considered him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God as if with leprosy. Verse 5, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. 
The chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him. And with the stripes that wounded him, we are healed and made whole. <laughs> All of this has been provided for us over 2,000 years ago. Again, every promise recorded in the Word of God is already bought and paid for by the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. And all of the promises belong to us right now, right now, right now, right now. Hallelujah. Somebody say right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All we need to do is to believe, receive, and appropriate the promises of God right now, right now, this very moment. Now, this is not in my notes, but in Psalms chapter 103, Watch this. I feel compelled by the Holy Ghost to read this to you. Psalms 103, starting with verse 1. It's verses 1 through 5 for the honor and glory of the Lord. Look at what it says here. Amen. Look at what the psalmist wrote under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. This is all under the premise that all of the promises of God belong to us right now. They've already been bought and paid for by the Lord Jesus Christ Himself. In Psalms chapter 103, verses 1 through 5, it reads as follows for the honor and glory of the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Now, what are the benefits? Look at verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Hallelujah. What are the benefits? Amen. Watch this. The benefits, starting again, verse 3, verse 3. Watch this. Verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Now somebody is asking the question right now, okay, Pastor Gil, how do I take all of these promises? You take these promises by faith. By faith. Remember the definition, or should I say one of the definitions that we gave you, and it's going to appear there on your screen. Faith is believing trusting and being confident of the promises of God already granted to you. Okay, notice that statement. Faith is believing, trusting, and being confident of the promises of God already granted to you. Okay, one more time. The definition. Faith is believing, trusting, and being confident of the promises of God already granted to you. What promises, Pastor Gill? Well, look at verse 3 of Psalms 103. Verse 3, 4, and 5. Watch this. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. This belongs to you right now. All you need to do is believe, receive, and appropriate this promise that is already yours in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Now, Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5 in the Amplified Classic Bible. Look at what it says here. I have a prompting from the Holy Ghost to read these scriptures to you right now because I sense in the Holy Ghost that some are ready to receive right now their miracle in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5 in the Amplified Classic Bible, it says this, Surely He has borne our griefs, sicknesses, weaknesses, and distresses, and carried our sorrows and pains of punishment. Yet we ignorantly considered Him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God as if with leprosy. Verse 5, But He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. 
the, uh, for our guilt and iniquities. Let me read verse 5 again. But He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. The chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon Him. And with the stripes that wounded Him, we are healed and made whole. Glory to God. This all belongs to us right now. This all belongs to us right now. Hallelujah. All we need to do is believe, receive, and appropriate these promises right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, let me read to you another scripture. Amen. Um, it seems like I'm not going into the notes right now, but thank God, amen, for the Holy Ghost. Amen. James chapter 5. Amen. Verses 14 and 15. Amen. James chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. I, I'm compelled to say to you right now <laughs> that there is a very strong healing anointing that is being manifested right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Just reading Isaiah chapter 53, verses 4 and 5, and Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5. Something happened, amen, and something is happening right now in Jesus' name. The healing anointing is present right now, amen. Now, in James chapter 5, verses, four, for verses 14 and 15, it reads as follows. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Verse 15, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Again, verse 14 of James chapter 5 in the King James Version, is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Verse 15, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Now, in the Amplified Classic Bible, it says this, Is anyone among you sick? He should call in the church elders, the spiritual guides, and they should pray over him, anointing him with oil in the Lord's name. Verse 15, And the prayer that is of faith will save him who is sick, and the Lord will restore him. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. So right now, amen. Now you may say, well, I didn't call for the elders. Well, you're watching one right now. <laughs> Praise God Almighty. The healing anointing is here right now. So I am going to stretch forth my hands. Amen. And you just raise your hands as a point of contact right now. God is going to heal you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, thank you right now that you are the great physician. And I thank you for your healing power right now that is being administered to every person who is sick in their body. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we stretch forth our hands and the healing anointing goes into every physical body right now in Jesus' mighty name. We tell the sickness to leave the physical body now in Jesus' name. And we command every person to be healed from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet right now in Jesus' mighty name. Be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet right now in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus covers you right now, producing healing from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you, 
Thank you, Father. Thank you. Receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Receive healing. Receive healing right now in the name that is above every name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> you are going to live and not die and celebrate the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in Jesus' mighty name. Name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your healing power. Oh, thank you, Lord. There is a good number of you that are being healed right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Even people are being healed from terminal sickness. The doctor has said that there is no hope. There, there's absolutely no hope. You're being, you're, they've told you that this sickness is terminal. Right now, Jesus is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Every person that is terminally sick is being healed right now by the power of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's people that are even being filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, right as we speak, you just started speaking in that language, so go ahead. I'm telling you, people, the power of God is in manifestation. The power of God is in manifestation. The power of God is in manifestation. Receive your miracle today. Receive your miracle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We praise you. We adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. God be with you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.